My name is Jonathan Price. I'm currently a vice president with Fitness International, better known as LA Fitness and our new brand is Sporta. Um, I'm very passionate about fitness. I've been doing it in my lifestyle for about 20 years. Um, so I love being in the industry and I love what I do. I actually was with another hormone replacement clinic and uh, I wasn't feeling so good. My uh, medicines weren't coming in on time. I could tell that there was a type of imbalance with how I was feeling, low energy. Um, and I knew something was off. So I came over to Titan Medical and, and I immediately noticed a huge customer service difference. Uh, everything was on point, all my shipments were on time. There was never a point where I didn't have my medication to where I felt off balance. So uh, since being with Titan, energy levels through the roof. People ask me all the time, how do you do so much uh, in such a little amount of time? It's because I always have energy, I feel great. Um, no hormone imbalances, I'm always, steady freddy and consistent so uh yeah since being with titan medical it's definitely been a game changer and a life changer uh, for me and my family you know i've known john and sharice for many many years uh since i was uh, in middle school and uh, as a kid and uh they're like family to me and as i was with another hormone replacement clinic i knew that i was having some issues and some off balances i didn't know if it was the right thing for me uh, so i ended up calling them and sure enough, I ended up finding out that that's not the way that this whole thing works. And uh, through their expertise, they brought me aboard and uh, I became a Titan Medical patient. And they found out some actual imbalances with my cholesterol, uh, with my hemoglobin. Um, I noticed my testosterone levels weren't exactly consistent with what I thought they were. So all in all, just um, very professional company. Uh, and I feel great ever since I've had my blood work done and my balances are back on point. So when I got with Titan Medical, uh, we immediately did blood work. Um, I found a lot of things that I didn't know were off in my body. Uh, first thing was hemoglobin and iron. Um, I knew my diet had a lot to contribute to that, but I've never had blood work done before like that, uh, or as in depth as I did with my past companies. So uh, with that being said, I knew I needed to donate blood to level out my hemoglobin. I felt so much more energy right away. I didn't feel sluggish, I wasn't heavy of breathing. Uh, cholesterol was off and that's not something that really typically runs in my family. So again, diet, um, I cleaned that up, cholesterol levels came back down and uh, definitely felt a lot healthier because of that reason. And lastly, you know, I knew there was always an issue with being prior military and the stress levels we go through, my testosterone uh, tended to be a little bit lower than normal. So with that being regulated, I honestly feel like I'm 18 again on top of the world. I got energy to play sports, run around with my kids, and uh, the blood work was definitely the difference of finding and knowing what's going on inside my body. So the Titan therapies that I personally use and love is number one is Hercules Potion. That stuff is, is incredible. Better than any pre-workout out there on the market that you can get from a, a local supplement shop. Uh, the pump is unreal, by the way. Uh, Titan Complete, I love it. It's my vitamin source every morning, making sure I'm getting everything in, uh, charging up the machine the right way. And then I also do MK677. Personally for me, I have trouble eating. The MK677 I've really noticed increases my appetite. Um, that's obviously refueling my body, healing my body, getting a lot more nutrients to my body. And it's really regulated out my hunger levels and of course my growth levels. And I gotta say that stuff's incredible. How do I feel now? Well, I gotta say from beginning to end, uh, it's night and day. To where I am now from several years ago when I started with Titan, uh, it's a dramatic difference. Um, I'm a family guy, I got five kids. I just, me and my significant other just had a brand new baby, five weeks old, and I gotta have energy. I work full time, uh, I actually work in Orlando, so I'm driving every day, um, four hour drive, family man, spending time with the family, barely having the weekends off. I gotta say Titan Medical keeps my life in check. It gives me everything that I need to really have that energy, that fuel, uh, even motivation. Every morning I get up, I'm feeling great and it just really kickstarts my day the right way. And every night I sleep great, which wasn't happening before. So I gotta say, I feel awesome. You know, I gotta say about the Titan Medical provider services is unmatched. I, I've been with other clinics before and hormone replacement therapy clinics and the night and day difference of how I was treated with them versus Titan, uh, Titan treats you like a family member. The coolest thing that I love is I got calls throughout the month just checking in to see how I'm feeling, not 
to try to get me to order something else or to push another you know therapy they were calling just to see hey how are you feeling is everything going okay and that made me feel important and special um, I really love the staff here whenever I come in for blood work everything is top-notch um, you're greeted right at the front door the the doctors and physicians in the back are incredible um, in and out but very professional and they definitely take great care of you um, I just want to say as a Titan medical patient I am incredibly happy um, their services are great uh, I'll never go to another company just because I, I'm a true believer in what they stand for and what they represent uh, when they say you're a family when you're a patient it is true uh, I've been with them as friends for over 20 years as a patient for about 11 and uh, in the family, I mean, it's a great place to be, man. You definitely want to get started with them and they're going to take great care of you. on social media known as Chrissy Snow. I have been a patient with Titan for about four or five years. I 
40, live in Florida, an athlete with them for I think about two or three years now. So I became a patient with Titan because I was a power lifter. So I was looking for muscular development, strength, you know, recovery from you know lifting so hard so often, as well as body composition. I was help, looking for something to help aid in weight loss, to help me stay in specific weight classes. So I do my blood work twice a year, just like everybody else, just to see where everything's at and see if there's any adjustments that need to be made that will help me reach my goals more efficiently. Now I am a physique competitor instead of a uh, power lifter, so I'm doing some different things with my body now. So keeping track of everything and those markers are, are pretty important to my health, especially with my age. Um, the medical service I've received at Titan has always been top notch. They've always been concerned with my health and put that first. So that definitely makes a big difference to me that they care, that they reach out to see how I'm doing. As far as Titan therapies, currently I'm using Prometheus. Again, um, as a physique competitor, weight obviously is always an issue for me. Um, I use Hercules because I really like the pump and what it does to my workouts and how it helps me. And then I've used ECAs for that focus and that energy. Now I feel great. Um, I'm actually in prep right now to compete at eight weeks out and I feel amazing. I'm not sore all the time. I'm not exhausted. I have a better recovery than I've ever had as well as more focus and drive in the gym. I'm definitely happy with Titan and everything that they've done for me as a patient, as an athlete. Um, I couldn't be more grateful for everything that they've done for me. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you. So we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so we're gonna. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So if you guys are just tuning in, or you guys tune in every week, just so you guys know, we go over different things and topics, tips and tricks to help you guys in your relationship, future relationship, and make sure you guys aren't making those bad mistakes that you might have made in the past or you guys just want to reignite things in your current relationship and just make things better. Progression is key in life, and especially in all your relationships, whether it's working relationships, but definitely in your love and personal relationships, right? Yeah, you need that. You definitely need that. So, you know, we were talking about what we were going <laughs> to, you know, cover this week, and, uh, you know, people come up to us and ask us, and like, how we got together the first Tell time. Tell me the story. So, you know. It must be so romantic. The origin story is a good place to start. Um, you know, so the origin story of me and Sharice. So, you know, and this <laughs> covers the, not all love is at first sight, right? right? So, you know, some people think that instantly when you meet somebody, you have to like, there's got to be sparks and, and you guys are connecting is. right away. And, Sometimes there is. And that's true. Yeah. Um, and they could be, you know, sparks and you guys, you know, think you guys love each other at first sight. And even with couples like that, you know, they're very lustful. They're right into it. You and know, then boom, three weeks later, they're broken up. They're done, right? You know, because that love at first sight, that might have been for, you know, they might think that person was hot or whatever it is. It might have been a physical thing that attracted them. Googly eyes. And then at that point, after the, you know, those things calm down a little bit and you have to spend long amounts of time with somebody. You're like, oh, I don't like you. You might find some things that you might not like. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> you know, with me and Sharice, our origin story was, you know, the first time that we met each other, oh my goodness. It, it wasn't love at first sight, it wasn't, right? Eh, no, no. It wasn't like, uh, you know, we're like, oh, you know, you're the best thing to slice bread. You're so you're <laughs> hot. You're so sexy. Let me get your number. I mean, I was go hot out. and sexy, but we, you know, we all know that. It's definitely was hot sexy. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's current things that, that can be holding you back from some of these things too as well. Like right. Get, just getting out of a relationship and yep. then, you know, not, not really to search the, it or not. Yeah, in that, you were like, in mood. like the mindset. I think right? we're both in that same situation. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, so you're like, you know, you're, you're skeptical or you're not even looking for, you're not, you know, trying to approach situations like that at all. Mm -hmm. So, you know, things that, that might draw you to somebody, you might just, you know, 
put your brakes on at, for a little bit and just not even worry about something like that. So right. the first time we met each other, uh, you know, we had a conversation where, but it it wasn't at all <laughs> uh, on the romantic conversations, right? <laughs> Um, or, or interest as far as romantically and stuff like that. No, so just like friendly. That was like uh, the first week and then literally like it was like the second week. It was a weekend again. Um, same place, right? Yeah, it was a friend's house. Seen each other, started talking a little bit. Um, you know, at that point, you know, these people were playing a game. They were playing the new Uno. Was it the new Uno? Yep, because the old Uno wasn't I know good how, enough. I know how to play old Uno. I don't know about no new, no new Uno. So I'm just sitting there watching and, you know, I... I I obviously pick up the rules of the game. I read the, the damn insert. <laughs> so smart. And I'm like, all right, so, you know, Sharice is playing. She's playing with all these other people. And I kind of was trying to help her out. So that's kind of where it was at that point. I was like, oh, my God, this guy's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and at that point, like, you know, Sharice is wearing a dress. She's about all night and stuff. Um, and, you know. I, oh, yeah. You can mention it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I kind of said, like, hey, listen, <laughs> you know, it looks like, you know, kind of hot and kind of sweating there, you know, and, and then I try to do it real low key because, you know, that's embarrassing for somebody if you say it out loud. I was sweating. So okay. at that point, but I like, really don't sweat. She's like, I don't sweat. And she's like, said it in front of everybody to try to embarrass me. <laughs> All right. And that's the wrong move. You know, I'm really good and real kind and real easy going. But when you try to come at me, I'm going to come at you right back. So at that point, I'm like, oh, really? I'm like. Well, those pit stains right there tell a different story to me and everybody else here, right? And then her face like, oh, I just got to look down like, oh. Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> On that note. On that note, this is what it was. So it still was romantic at that point. That was not very romantic at all, actually. <laughs> yeah. I left him downstairs after that. She did. She uh -huh. did. So at that point, I got left, at, you know, by myself. Um, but, oh, that was really sad too. But it's he's so cute though. It's just, yeah. it was. This is a very non-cute experience for us. Yeah. So at that point, it wasn't there. <laughs> so when again, I think it was third week. We were trying to do some business deal or something like that together yeah. in, in the in the, in the, uh, in the beginning, and then at that point we decided we're gonna meet up or whatever well we no, i found out he lived in newport richie yes and then i was like oh my god you live in newport richie i'm Trendy. like nobody lives in newport richie yeah literally it's newport nowhere is what i used to call it right <laughs> i'm like oh my gosh and i'm like okay obviously i'm like this is just hot guy i'm like he lives in newport richie with me we totally have to be friends yeah. right yeah. <laughs> So. so I'm like, hey, listen, why don't you come on over? I was like, I'll cook you dinner and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it is what it was. You know, watch a movie or whatever. It wasn't Netflix back then, so I couldn't say Netflix and chill. <laughs> you know, I have to get that trademark. Uh, but, no, it wasn't like that. So, you know, she came over, cooked her dinner. I remember what I cooked her. It was grilled chicken and a baked potato. Baked potato. Because even back then, I was just starting to really He had the, the pasta cake. out, but I mean, a baked potato was better. Yeah, baked potato is always better. Yeah. I like baked potatoes. Yeah. And really simple and easy, so... It clicked, too, because it was a pretty basic grilled chicken breast and just a regular baked potato. Nothing really, like, fancy. We don't like no stuff on our food, yeah. You know, and she goes right along with that. So yeah, neither one of us likes stuff on our food. You know, when you get in relationships with some people, different palates, you know, different people like different things. And yeah. They want them to try these different things and stuff like that where yeah. we were kind of on the same page right away. So that, sure. that's a win-win for me, 100%. <laughs> Um, you know, and then after that, I, I think, you know, we, we were going to meet out at... Uh, Gasparilla! No, oh, it was Gasparilla, You right? skipped, we totally skipped Gasparilla. What about Hyde Park? Well, was Hyde Park before Gasparilla? Hyde Park was before Gasparilla. So he had me at Hyde Park. So Hyde Park, yeah. we're like, hey, listen, let's go out dancing, whatever. She's like, all right, I'm at Hyde Park, so I was going to go there with a buddy. I was like, all right, we're going to meet you at Hyde Park. Uh-huh, wait, so hold on a second. Yeah, I'll meet you at Hyde Park. So first of all, I don't wait on anyone. So when you tell me you're going to be somewhere, and I'm actually on time... Which is hardly ever. Which is never, okay? <laughs> I'm never on time. So if you want me to be somewhere, you better tell me like two hours before. Yeah. And I will be on time. So I was actually Ooh, on time. And I'm like, excuse me. I t I'm like, text him, like, where are you? He's like, oh, I'm down the street. But, the, you know, my friend, he's, just, he's wrapping up something. I'm like, dude, what is your problem? So, like, you know, I'm kind of getting a little like... All right, should we even wait? Because I'm with my girlfriends, obviously. I'm like, we should just, probably, just, probably just leave, right? He's like, well, I'm just walking in right now. So this was this was it right here. This was this was the moment. Now this is your you know knight in shining armor moment, right? So it's in the nightclub. You got the lights all beaming, right? I'm standing up there as a two step portion right here, and like he's like walking through the club and he's got his like he's walking in there like you know yeah look at me. <laughs> My name is John. <laughs> 
I'm so sexy. Look at me, right? That's him, right? And so I'm standing over there. I see all the lights beaming on him, looking all cute. And I'm like, oh, he's got all these muscles and stuff. I'm like, you know what? Never, ever, ever in my life, and anybody can correct me on this, never, ever have I ever jumped up on a guy. Like, jumped up on a guy, like, wrap my legs around a guy and be like, yee -hee. No, that's not me, okay? But for some very strange reason, I decided to do that with him. <laughs> <laughs> So at that point, boom, jumped up on him, said, yeah. what's up? Yeah. And that was it. It yeah. was, it was, that was like the moment. Yeah. That was the moment yeah. of the moments. I remember that night. Remember? For sure, absolutely. I, I compare it to the belly movie. I'm sure half of you guys don't know what that is, but yeah. it's like, you know, he had the yeah. lights shining on him. And he's like moving in the in club the and stuff. Yeah, that yeah. opening scene, for sure. <laughs> Just like that. For sure. So, so it was good. Yeah, you know, it was continuing then. And then the next portion went, because we were just dating at the time, right? And then like, I don't know, when you were little kids, you're like, you know, we're going out, you know. This it wasn't is my like official, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't official at that point. We were, we were still dating and stuff like that. Like, people don't put titles on things, I guess, under that when you get older. So, the next event it was, was Gasparilla. Gasparilla. So, Sharice was, the was, the was working uh, a promo event. And at on that point, you know, Gasparilla, if you guys have ever been to it, I'm sure you guys have or know about it. Um, there's Insane. Tens of thousands of people, 100,000 people, whatever it is, you know, on Bayshore <laughs> Boulevard. It's and a good it, it's, story. A, it's miles or stretch of that road. <laughs> and up and down there, people are, you know, they're partying, they're having a good time. All these houses, they're having house parties. Wasted by so like 10 o'clock in the morning. Their, yeah, usually, yeah, 10 a.m. Usually Literally. people are pretty much wasted that pretty point much. in time. Um, Went down there with a couple of my friends and buddies because she was working or whatever. And I told her, I was like, you know, and she told me where she was at. I'm yeah, like, I'm like, come on over. I'll, I'll, I'll be on my way. But you can't drive down Bayshore. You right? have to walk. All the roads are blocked off around there. So you're not getting around by car. <laughs> so at that point, you're either walking. I don't know if they can even scooter nowadays because there wasn't scooters back no, then. No, no, no. You had to walk. So at that point, I'm like, listen, there I'll, were like I'll be on of my people. way. Floods uh, of people. And, you know, kept walking. And I had a couple group of guys with me. And they kept stopping off. I'm like, listen, whoever's with me, come with me right now because I'm not going to stop I'm like, anymore. are you coming? Are you coming? What's going on? So I literally, at the walk, <laughs> I'm walking down Bayshore and through there. And, like, it's literally a couple miles. And I had to go all the way down to the general hospital, Tampa General. Right? <laughs> so at that point, like... I'm walking all the way down there, and then Sharice's on this boat doing this promotion and stuff like that. I'm like, well, how am I going to get to the boat? I was like, oh, yeah, right? that's right. Because <laughs> you, you can't just rent a boat or anything like that. And then how are you going to get over the rails to get to the boat? So I'm, I'm like, oh, this is bad. I'm at Tampa General, and then I see this guy, like, literally on this, like, little, little boat. like tugboat. A I'm not tugboat. joking around. One it little fit, like, old man. It must have fit four people on the whole thing. <laughs> uh, it was, like, literally out of, like, Popeye, like those old tugboats. So... <laughs> You know, I'm going to jump oh over the rail, God. and then one of the security guards at Tampa Jones like, you can't do that. You can't. I'm like, listen, I just got to get over there. It's me, like, you know. just over here. So he's like, all right. And I've never really seen a security guard let you go like that. So he's like, all right, go ahead and do it. And I see this guy in this tub. I'm like, listen, I'll pay you like 30 bucks. Just take me like right over there. He's like, jump on board. So we literally got on board. I had one other friend with me. We jumped on board, and we went over on the tugboat to get on this other boat. As soon as I got on the boat, though, we had a small issue because all of a sudden, you know, I'm at an all-girl promotion. Yeah. It's on a guy's boat, and yeah. this guy is like, who is these guys getting on my boat? <laughs> I'm like, listen, 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 listen. Let me just work. In I work let me work some deals. Give me yeah. a second, John. Work some deals in the back here. I was like, all right, I'm going to let this guy on the boat. I'm like, just yeah. let him on. Yeah. So let him on, and boom. So we're there, had a good time, whatever, <laughs> and then it's time to leave Gasparilla, right? Oh so we God. get off, get off on the dock, and then to get back to your car is is, is hell. Like, you literally got to fight all the traffic. There's nothing <laughs> open. There was no it's Uber terrible. back then or anything like that. So we're, like, trying to get back. We finally get back, and we're driving back to drive her home. So I went to go drop her off. She had one of her girlfriends with her in the car at that time. And we'll drop her off. We're kind of, like, sitting there in the front. In the garage. And, and, you know, and then her friend just hits us with it. Weird. She's like... She's like, are you guys like going out? Are you guys, are you guys like boyfriend and girlfriend? girlfriend? Or like, we kind of look at each other we like, look, oh, I don't know. Like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> So, like, that's what officially made it. You know? Oh, yeah. How, like, how special. We're officially boyfriend and girlfriend at this point in time. <laughs> and it was pretty quick. There's been a couple of weeks where all this happened. Yeah, so. and then right after that, two weeks later, I moved in. Yep. Then we had a baby. We got married. And within six months, and it was yep. great. Yeah, we planned everything. So, it wasn't like an unplanned yep. pregnancy no, or no, anything no. like that. No, that was planned. You know, we, we knew what we wanted. We, kind of, we were together. People told us we were oh, crazy. Yeah, we're it definitely crazy. It was never going to work. You know, uh, even parents were like, hey... Uh, they were like, you know, you're spending too much time together. And, yeah. You know. Well, because I got, it's only because I got 
I personally get sick of people and things very quickly. So my dad at the time yeah. was like, listen, you're going to get real sick of this guy and you're not going to like him no more. And I know you like him a lot. So yeah. you could just keep him around and you just hang out with him every day, all day. You're going to get sick of him and then he's going to be gone. Because I was like, this guy's awesome. I think, the, you know, this is the guy. And he's like, you're going to get sick of him. I'm like, no, I'm not going to get sick of him. I think I really, really am not going to get sick of him. And yeah. then boom, every day. We've been together every day since. That's how it worked. Every I mean, day, all day. You know, so... <laughs> Everything might you know might not go as to plan. Of what you're trying yeah, to do, it right? doesn't. And you know when you're looking for love, you, you probably aren't going to find it because you're looking for it. But mm -hmm. usually it comes unexpectedly. Things that you're not looking for literally pop up usually on you, um, and that's how it is. Like if people really stress about things, they're looking, they're, they're picking things apart all the time. It's too making it too hard. It might be too hard, and you, you you might throw some different people aside that might really be a good match for you. So you got to keep an open mind too. And, and you know, like I said. Things might not be all fireworks when you first meet, but when you get to know somebody, that's when you're really true to get to like them. Right. And, you know, that could turn to a, a relationship. You have no idea. You know, good friends sometimes do that. Turn, yeah, you know, they because they're close to each other and they learn about each other. They really love these different things. And it's not just a physical thing. It's really a personal thing at that level. So, you know, I, and I think that's big. You know, physical can only take things so far. Right. You know, then there's got to be some sort of mental stimulation, interest. Some sort of connection. You guys have some sort of, like, uh, common ground. Yes. Yeah, so Me and John are literally, you know, he's the nice version. I'm the mean version. But we are basically the same people. He's just yeah. a guy and I'm a girl. Yeah. But we are the same people. We think alike. We, 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 everything is pretty much alike. We eat alike. Yeah. You know, the way we talk, walk, act alike. Everything is alike. Yeah. It's just boy version, girl version. Yeah. So you never know what's going to be lucky. out there. We got lucky. We I got, got I, lucky. You know, I met my soulmate. Definitely. It was meant to, that this for sure was meant to be. 100%. And obviously we met for bigger reasons like Titan. 100%. And our son, Peter. Of course, little Pete. So, you know, this is just something to make you guys aware. Listen, you never know when love is going to hit you. Um, don't always think grass is green on the other side too as well. People do that all the time. That's not what it's about, especially with the social media age and all these other influences out there and yeah. people being thirsty and stuff like that. And I'm not talking about, you know, they need a drink. I'm talking about thirsty. So at that point, listen, live your life. You know, love, but keep an open mind about what's out there for you guys. If you haven't found true love yet or your soulmate, don't worry. That person's out there, but you got to keep an open mind and kind of look to as well. But don't just try to pick everybody apart. All right. So I think that sums up another Cupid's Corner. Yeah. So I appreciate you guys all tuning in. We're here for you guys every Sunday at 11 a.m. And if you didn't DVR us and you missed the show, don't worry. You can always check it out on our YouTube page. Just type in Type Medical Center or check out our social medias, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. We're on all those. Type Medical Center or Type Medical. You'll find us there. So I'm John. I'm Sharif. And we'll see you next week with another Cupid's Corner. See you then.